there. This is a reading for Cancer. September 2019. Hi, I am Indigo. Thank you for watching Indigo Smokes Tarot. Um, let me see. So I'm going to give you your angel numbers. Um, I'm going to go over the overall energy of the reading. Then I'll go into the advice cards and then I will go into the tarot. Okay. So, um, your angel numbers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, as well as North and South Nodes. Um, you got a lot of fives, all right? You got a lot of fives, eights, nines, and tens, all right? So that's signs of um, completing a cycle, something karmic possibly, but you are going through a lot of change. If not, you will be. Um, let me see. You have about, you have exactly five fives, all right? So 55, 55, five. And then you have 888, you have two zeros, you have three tens, you have 77, you have 999, and you have 44. All right, there's nine majors in this spread um, with the tarot cards and with the clarifiers combined. And then you got some repeat cards, all right? So you got the star card in reverse twice, you got the full card twice, the queen of pentacles twice, and the reverse seven of pentacles twice, okay? so. Honestly, what I gathered from that is just something here is changing in a major way or is ending altogether. Um, yeah, I'm not going to um, get too far into it, like I said. So I want to read the lighter messages first, just so, you know, we can start things off on a good note. And then I'll pull some advice cards at the end. But just from like a quick overview of the spread, <laughs> it's something major is closing out in your life and someone here is just like done done like done 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 like just not interested like i i can't put it in another way but somebody here is getting a new beginning all right but yeah there's there's something here that this screams disillusionment all right so if it looks like somebody here like just is over something all right i'm just gonna leave it there until i get to explaining each card but anyways for the overall energies of this reading i got two oracle cards for you we got the door to spirit and the angel of strength all right so whatever it is that you are going through or have been through it's giving you a lot of strength um you do have a lot of um, spiritual support here so that's really good you have a lot of good energy on the horizon um both of these cards come to a five i think that's 32 and 50. all right so this is the door to spirit meaning that you may be receiving some intuitive messages you may be um inspired by some kind of higher power maybe you'll just be in, in more of a receptive or a creative flow um, if you're spiritual, I see that that's like a heightened energy for you this month. Um, with the Angel of Strength, like I said, whatever you have been through or are going through, it is giving you a lot of strength so that you can continue to push forward. Um, you have some uh, intuitive and divine guidance right here. I pulled like five cards. I only meant to pull three, but you know, they gave an extra two. But anyways, um, September may be... A heightened spiritual month for you you know pay attention to your dreams your intuitive nudges um pay attention to your synchronicities the things that you see or hear constantly um make sure that you are aware that you're in your power and if you're not you're about to be all right so if there's anything where you're feeling like lesser than or you're feeling weaker i don't see that lasting for too long like i said because of the angel of strength card here and the five you will be able to withstand any kind of changes that you're going through or have gone through okay anyways as far as the um you know the messages of us yeah the messages of assurance you literally got another five the assurance card it's a 14. all right so basically what this card is is just you're being reassured that you're on the right path you are going in the right direction things are like i said progressing towards something better um, basically you just you have nothing to worry about all right you have spiritual support helping you you have the strength that you need to continue to push forward 
and don't worry about the small shit, all right? Just know that everything is working out in your right way you're supposed to be. Um, with the clear out the old card, second card out, this one came out like two or three times. So this is clear out the old, that's another number five. So before we even got into the tarot cards, you had four or five. It's crazy. Um, so this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just saying that it is time to clear out anything that is old or stagnant or negative or anything that is just not, it's not working for you. It's not adding to you. Um, anything that you have been, like any bad habits that you've had, anything that's been keeping you back time to get rid of that this could even be speaking of needing to physically clean out your environment because you know maybe you have some old stuff that you haven't touched in years clear that out that way you can just energetically make room for all of the good things that are trying to come in you know and it's also it's kind of therapeutic when you clean because it's kind of a way of you know as you're physically cleaning around you you're psychologically working through things all right so Clearing out the old, it can apply to a variety of different examples and aspects of your life, all right? But spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, in whatever way that you can, clear out anything that is old that's not serving you, that's just taking up space or that's draining you. It's time for that to go, all right? Third card out, we have the first 10, Bountiful Harvest. So like I said, it's literally like you're making room for better things to come, all right, by letting go of anything that like i said is draining you not working for you anything that's stagnating you anything that's taking up space all of that okay the fourth card out just for messages and encouragement is renewal of peace all right so like i said you got four 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 this is one of those so whatever you have been through or are going through you're coming into if you're not already you're coming into this energy of feeling renewed and feeling more at peace with yourself all right and i feel like this is possibly because either you are you're coming into some kind of clarity and if not you are being called to see things from a higher perspective you know trying to take in the bigger picture like maybe the details aren't what you want but it's leading you to something greater all right So definitely coming into some peace, some clarity, some abundance. You're releasing old. You're clearing out cycles in your life. Um, you maybe, like I said, if not just for this month, you're you could overall be coming into a more spiritual energy just for yourself and you know how you um, operate on a daily basis. Okay. So now that we have got those messages out, the first tarot card is the reverse ten of cups here. All right. See if you can see it. Um, it came out twice. I tried to put it back. I be trying to get good messages for y'all, alright? But it came out twice. So, um, this is just someone not having the emotional fulfillment that they once had, alright? So maybe something that you were emotionally invested in or something um, that brought you a lot of emotional fulfillment. This could have to do with a family situation, a relationship. Something here made you unhappy. Um, this is the card of when it's in the upright it's all about having like that happy that happy life you know you're emotionally fulfilled your home life is good your relationships are good um you could feel you could just feel like you're in a i don't want to say in a dream but it's kind of like that dreamy happiness where you're just super fulfilled with where you are who you are who you're with you know it's just an overall happy energy and when it's in the reverse it's like for some reason or another you lost that so you could have lost an emotional connection with someone. Something could have emotionally upset you um, in a variety of different ways that can play out. But something here fucked with your happiness or someone in your energy is taking on this reverse ten of cups, all right? So being emotionally dissatisfied, all right? Possibly even hurt or disappointed about something. Second card out is the reverse star card. So... I got this for another sign. I can't remember which one it was, but um, I feel like this is my second or third time picking up this reverse star card in a reading. So go through the other videos, see if you guys can, can find it, but I definitely pulled this for another sign. This is losing hope or faith in something. This could uh, talk about a lack of wish fulfillment, a lack of healing, but this is um, a, a sad energy where 
you know, you are no longer optimistic or hopeful about a situation. Um, if there's something that's hurt you, this can indicate that there's maybe some resistance around healing. But overall, this is kind of a, um, this is kind of a gloomy card, you know. Um, whatever is, let me see if I can explain this in a different way. So, other than possibly not healing, not getting what you want, to me, this is just when you um, you lose all hope and faith in a situation and you don't see like a silver lining. You don't see things getting better. Um, yeah, so someone here could actually even, um, they could, you could just feel this way towards a particular situation or just overall, you could just be taking on this energy of not having a general outlook or, you know, optimism or faith or healing or peace or just getting your wishes fulfilled so if, if, if this isn't talking about specifically you know one situation someone could be taking on this energy just in general all right so someone here could definitely be down in their spirits or you know and i don't say this lightly depressed you know that's that's what this is for me this can definitely be like a, a depressive or um gloomy kind of energy third card out we have the reverse seven of pentacles all right so no longer waiting on something no longer investing your time no longer waiting to see if you will get the rewards or the results that you were looking for this is no longer investing because something here isn't worth the investment anymore or maybe you don't think it's worth the investment anymore um this is also not getting out of a situation what you put into it all right and because of that someone here decides to stop waiting someone decides to stop investing and someone decides to just walk away because you know once again someone here isn't getting or they didn't get what they wanted all right fourth card out we have the queen of pentacles so this is taurus virgo capricorn um cancer you could be taking on this energy or you could be dealing with an earth sign or someone who takes on the uh, the earth energy of you know being warm and nurturing um, and it's light vibration, of course. Um, this is like the wife card. You know, this is someone who is stable, is nurturing, is the mother figure, the wife figure. Um, also, she can be a savvy businesswoman, but this is someone who is domestic and loving, but is also very shrewd in business, could have their own business here. Um, for some of you, if this is financial, this could be talking about a boss of yours. And like I said, if you're not taking on this energy, you're dealing with this energy in some aspect of your life, whether it is personal, professional, take it however it resonates. But um, this is typically a good card is in regards to finances, okay? Uh, and it fell out right under the Bountiful Harvest card, all right? So someone here, their finances or just your overall abundance is on the up and up, all right? This is also the central card, which is why I said it could possibly be the energy that you're taking on Cancer, all right? The fifth card out is the reverse five of swords, all right? So having dealt with some kind of a conflict in the past, maybe some arguing, some harsh words were exchanged. Um, maybe you were dealing with a situation or a person where there was some, um, like I said, it could, be, it could have been intense arguing, um, harsh words, or it could even be something more along the lines of backstabbing or manipulation or leaving a situation where someone feels like they were defeated or maybe someone was acting selfish in a situation all right this is the aftermath of that this is possibly um either getting over whatever conflict or upset that there was or this could be someone wanting to make amends for a past situation where there was a lot of conflict um ego-based behavior possibly even selfish or um manipulative energy okay so Either someone is just getting over this this conflict that happened or someone here is wanting to make amends for a situation where there was a lot of conflict okay and that fell out right under the renewal of peace so that's kind of good all right the sixth card out is the fool all right so somebody here could be wanting to take a leap of faith someone could be wanting a new beginning um, like I said, either this is you wanting a new beginning or this is someone in your energy wanting a new beginning or wanting to take a leap of faith in regards to you or a situation that you're in. But this looks like a 
beginning after you know something has already happened and transpired okay all right and the last card out is the reverse nine of wands all right so when this card's in the upright it's my wounded warrior card ptsd um not wanting to open up um <clears throat> Feeling like you've been put through the ringer, being worn out. When it's in reverse, I feel like this is someone dropping their guard. All right, so whether they're dropping their guard to just be vulnerable, or whether they're dropping their guard and just overall giving up on a situation, and somehow, some way, someone is um, no longer being guarded. Whether it's because, like I said, they're opening up, or because they're just no longer, you know, putting up with the situation that they're in. bottom of the deck we have the reversed hangman right it's a me <laughs> it could it can go a, a couple of different ways all right so it could be that a situation hasn't really been moving it could be that someone um one person or just a situation completely hasn't been moving Someone here could have just been taking a minute to reflect on the situation, maybe getting a new perspective, or someone here could be resisting something in the situation, all right? Um, but I see this as coming out of limbo, coming out of a standstill, and taking action. Um, and like I said, for some, this could be a resistance to change or a resistance to um, letting go or surrendering, all right? So take that how it resonates. Some, this will be resistant energy, and for some, this will be finally coming out of that that reflective, taking a, a minute to yourself to see things from a new perspective or anything along those lines is taking action after taking a pause for whatever reason, okay? Back to this reverse 10 of cups. So we have the star card out again in reverse. We have the reverse eight of wands. These are all reversals, guys. I have the reverse queen of pentacles. And we have the reverse full card. So literally three actually no four of these cards have repeated themselves already oh god okay so once again this is no longer having some kind of happiness or emotional fulfillment maybe losing it for a situation maybe feeling hurt or down or sad for one reason or another uh, maybe a, a relationship or a family situation there could be some upset in that area or in regards to some people in your life with this reverse star card once again this is a lack of healing it's a lack of hope no longer being optimistic or hopeful about a situation possibly not even seeing a silver lining in it all right but um this is this is very <laughs> this is very sad all right um man anyways with the reverse eight of wands here this could be um signifying that maybe you're not in communication with someone this can also signify a situation not moving forward or some or a person not moving forward but this to me this is like blocked communication card so someone here could definitely be blocked all right or a situation just could not be moving or a person that you're dealing with your dynamic with them isn't moving forward or like i said someone here is blocked communication wise okay so this is a an instance where someone could be blocked on social media phone etc all right, or like I said, just overall, a situation isn't moving forward, communication isn't being had for one reason or another, something is impeding forward movement, all right? And with this reverse Queen of Pentacles here, man. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she can go a variety of different ways. To me, when, when she's in reverse, she is someone who is no longer warm no longer nurturing, no longer receptive, all right? She's pretty loyal and stable, but she can even she's even calm, all right? She's 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 someone who's typically always in your corner, all right? Like I said, this is a mother figure, a wife figure. She's very patient, stable, she's solid. Um, she's warm and she's nurturing and it's hard to get her in this energy all right so unless this is talking about some kind of financial instability or upset this is talking about a person who possibly is no longer receptive to someone or no longer receptive to a situation she could be angry all right in some instances this can be um, an envious person 
a jealous person, someone who's insecure, someone who's mean-spirited, and then sometimes this is just indicating that somebody here is upset in a situation, all right? Um, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty hard to get the Queen of Pentacles to be mad, but considering that the central card is the Queen of Pentacles and it's in the upright, I feel like this is someone who is normally pretty balanced, but someone here, something pissed this person off, all right? It's like shutting yourself down for one reason or another. Um, and with the reverse full card, this is not wanting to, not wanting to start over, not wanting something new. This is possibly uh, being afraid of starting anew. You know, someone could be, um, how do I say that? This is just someone not taking a leap of faith. All right, not going towards a new beginning for whatever reason. All right, maybe if someone is being approached for a new beginning, it's someone's not receptive to it, or maybe someone here is just afraid to, you know, take action, start over, have faith, all of that. Because with the reverse star card, man, the reverse star card and the fool, like that is honestly, that's a lack of hope, that's a lack of courage and faith. It's like. It could just be a situation where somebody doesn't even feel like a new beginning is possible or or worth it. Yeah, I don't want to linger too long, but it's crazy. All right, clarifying this reverse star card over here is the Hierophant. All right, so this could definitely have to do with a relationship um, a marriage a commitment of some sort um if it's not personal and it's work related this could just be something career-wise a job that you've had for a long time you know a long-standing commitment that you have had and there's been some kind of like i said upset or a lack of healing or a lack of hope in regards to the situation we got the reverse page of cups also with this card reverse four of pentacles so someone here once again with the reverse page of cups being upset about something or not being receptive this reverse four of pentacles this is all about letting go of something all right no longer clinging to it no longer being possessive of it um it's like going in the upright the four of pentacles is kind of like someone holding on very tightly like where you can see the veins pop out in their hands not wanting to let go and when it's in the reverse it's like whatever kind of that's how i read it anyway um, with the Sun card and then this Reverse Seven of Pentacles again, it looks like someone here came into some clarity about something, or they are. So someone here is either coming into clarity or they they already have the clarity, which is why someone here, Reverse Seven of Pentacles, is not investing in something, not waiting. Reverse Four of Pentacles, letting go. The Page of Cups, not being satisfied or open to a situation anymore. Possibly something that you've had a long-standing commitment to, whether it's a job, a person, um, a marriage, a relationship, romantic, platonic. This is no longer wanting to heal the situation, no longer having hope or faith in the situation anymore. Maybe because you came into some truth, some enlightenment about something, a light was shed on a particular issue in the situation, and it could have made someone just decide that they don't want to invest, they don't want to wait on it. They're not trying to stick around. They're not trying to cling to it anymore. And it's just like, like I said in the beginning, somebody is super done. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say that. And this seems to be a collective energy. I feel like at least three out of four of the readings that I've done thus far, this is something similar to this comes up. All right. With the reverse seven of pentacles, we have the reverse two of pentacles. All right, with the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. All right, so um, once again, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, no longer waiting, investing, analyzing, reassessing, um, not getting your rewards, not, not getting out of a situation, possibly what you put in it, not getting what you expected, things not going how you thought they would. Um, the reverse Two of Pentacles is... Uh, finally making a decision, no longer doing a juggling act, no longer going back and forth between two people, places, things, situations, no longer being double-minded in regards to a person or a situation, finally making some kind of decision, 
there's something that you could be dropping or someone in this situation could just be dropping something okay or or make or finally making a decision and then with this king of cups and this nine of swords all right so this is cancer pisces scorpio but it's strong scorpio theme all right so um unless this is signifying you cancer and it very well could be or you could be dealing with another water sign or someone who takes on this energy of a cancer pisces scorpio or someone who is in their feelings or someone who can you know um you have has a strong emotional connection with you maybe someone who hides their emotions <laughs> not really expressive um with this nine of swords this talks about you know sleepless nights insomnia you know being filled with worry or stress or anxiety to the point where it keeps you up at night um being in a lot of internal conflict or a lot of mental anguish you know this could also be like i said an anxiety or a depressive kind of energy all right so somebody here could be severely stressed out or anxious in regards to a situation um so it can go a couple of different ways with the reverse seven of pentacles and the reverse two of pentacles somebody could have just decided to drop the situation and no longer wait on it and it could have caused someone that you were dealing with to feel this internal anxiety or depression or this worry the sleepless nights this is also an insomnia card okay um, with the King of Cups, he can be someone who can, you know, hide his emotions. Even, even if he is feeling all of this conflict on the inside, it could be that he's not even showing it. All right, but this is someone that you're dealing with. Who, um, like I said, if this isn't you taking on this stressful energy, um, being so stressed out to the point where you make the decision to just walk away from a situation or make a decision to drop something, then someone that you're dealing with is taking on this stressful energy in regards to you no longer investing or waiting. so take it how it resonates you know um cancer you'll know if you're the the king of cups here someone who is you know due to a lot of stress for or depression or anxiety or worry about a situation um you know no longer investing in something or you'll know if this is just someone that you're dealing with okay all right clarifying this queen of pentacles now i never do this but um I, I, I'm trying something new, I guess. The Ten of Cups, it came out sideways. All right, so once again, it's a repeat card. It almost came out in the reverse. So I feel like maybe this is an energy um, where it's like, I feel like this came out sideways because it's like you're coming, you're getting closer to your emotional fulfillment. All right, so I take that as a good thing, but it still didn't come out in the upright. So there's still something here that, you know, you're not happy with, you're not satisfied with. But I feel like slowly but surely you're getting your Ten of Cups back, that emotional fulfillment, that happiness, that happy um, home life, you know, happy within yourself. I feel like you're getting close to getting that again. I feel like that's why it came out in the side, um, sideways. And then clarifying both of these, the Nine of Cups came out. All right, so like I said, I feel like you're close to getting something that you want or getting some kind of emotional fulfillment within a situation or just within yourself. All right, so um, this is this is a good combination to me. You know, the Queen of Pentacles um, with her being in the main cards is upright. This is someone who is normally solid, normally stable and secure, all right? And if there was some kind of emotional upset or breakup or separation or anything along those lines, I feel like someone here who has taken on this energy is close to getting their wishes fulfilled in regards to something, all right? So some kind of contentment will come from the situation, all right? With the reverse five of swords, we have the reverse three of cups. You did not get a lot of threes, so I won't shout <laughs> that this is a third party situation, all right? Um, once again, the three of cups in the reverse, in this context, is just, um, this could have been like some conflict in regards to uh, a friendship, like I said. But when this is in the reverse, this could be saying that someone feels isolated. You know, this could be signifying that maybe someone in a situation was overindulgent. Um, if there was a third party interference, it would just be um, this would be someone making amends for a third party situation. If that is the case, um, it can be for some of you. But what I'm strongly getting is just that someone here could be really upset um, about some kind of past conflict here, right? Someone could be feeling isolated. And like I said, this definitely could have been a falling out with a friend. So 
so if that resonates take it but um both of these being in the reverse it just looks like some shit went down and someone's trying to make amends or just trying to avoid conflict in a situation but someone here is definitely or was upset in regards to whatever this was and then also coming out was the temperance card so i feel like like i said with the reverse five of swords this is someone wanting to make amends all right because the temperance is all about healing and balance and harmony and a blending of opposites or a variety of different energies to come to a sense of balance and harmonious energy this is also angelic all right so like i said in the beginning of the reading you have a lot of um angelic energy around you spiritual energy around you guiding you through whatever the situation may be for you but within this context this looks like someone is wanting to um, bring a situation back make amends with the two of wands once again another two is talking about having a decision to make all right i don't think i wrote that down so you have at least two twos here so that can be an angel number for you as well 22 or 222 and this could be someone like i said making a decision that they want to heal and make amends for some kind of emotional upset or conflict that happened in the past it looks like someone here is wanting attention or they're wanting some kind of victory in this situation all right so whoever was the whoever or whatever was the main source of conflict it looks like that could be someone who's wanting to heal the situation and they're wanting a victory all right I hope this is resonating for you so far. Just clarifying the pool, we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. All right, so um, Ten of Swords, that is, um, that's a harsh ending or it, um, an abrupt ending. You know, it, it can be a painful, a painful ending as well. Something that happens harshly or abruptly, someone usually leaves hurt. With the ten of swords um sometimes with the ten of swords it could be that um you know someone was betrayed or someone could feel or someone could just could just feel like there's they were stabbed in the back all right so either it actually happened or someone here just feels like they were betrayed like something ended abruptly or harshly or painfully um but definitely something either has ended or it will end and it looks like it's in regards to either um a family situation a domestic situation or a one-on-one -on -one relationship okay for some people the four of wands is the twin flame card so it could have definitely been a spiritual connection or um, a romantic relationship where there was some kind of uh, painful ending uh, possibly like i said someone feeling like they were stabbed in the back all right and either someone is getting their new beginning after this or someone after this situation has already transpired is wanting a new beginning in regards to this situation But the way that I see it, I feel like um, whoever's feeling the betrayed energy or like things um, or like it was a painful ending, um, I feel like it's this person. Whoever felt this energy is getting this new beginning or um, is wanting or needing to take this leap of faith. All right. All right clarifying the reverse nine of wands, we have the hermit. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Reverse Four of Cups and the Reverse Magician. Alright, so. Anyways, Reverse Nine of Wands. Once again, um, for whatever reason, someone here is dropping their guard. Either they're dropping their guard to be more open and receptive, or someone here is dropping their guard and they're just giving up on a situation because they're tired. They're worn out, they're exhausted, and they're done. Um, with the Hermit card here, this is someone who flies solo. This is someone in deep contemplation. This could be someone doing some soul searching, some soul seeking. Uh, this could be someone just deciding to um, do their own thing. Or it could be someone also gaining some kind of enlightenment on a situation as well. This is typically someone who is in solitude, contemplative solitude. Uh, maybe someone isolating themselves from a domestic situation, a relationship, a family situation. Um, sometimes it, when the Ten of Pentacles isn't talking about like a long-standing family situation or relationship, it could talk about, um, you know, just your finances, right? So maybe someone here is isolating themselves from the situation, doing their own thing, 
um, and just focusing on their security, their stability, their longevity um, in regards to their finances, their home life, their family. Um, with this reverse four of cups, this is about no longer feeling discontent or bored. This is no longer um, feeling apathetic or disappointed or feeling rejected or like you missed out on opportunity. This is accepting things for what they are and moving forward, all right? Um, this can point to, you know, this reverse magician and this uh, reverse nine of wands. This could point to, like I said, someone not wanting to work on something anymore, not wanting to fight for it someone who is not wanting to manifest something new here this can also be a situation where someone here was manipulative because sometimes the reverse magician can be someone who is a master manipulator um someone who uses their their wits their resources their um personality against people or against the situation you know you know manipulative people people who are really good at it um Someone could be giving up on the situation because that's the energy that you were dealing with, right? And if it's not that, like I said, it's just someone not wanting to manifest or not feeling like um, they can manifest something new in this situation. See what I see this going to be like? Yeah, and someone here could be like uh, really thinking about, um, you know, finances. Um, a relationship that they had or have or a family or living situation all right somebody here can be in deep deep contemplation about that because that's kind of all that the hermit does you know and we are also in uh yes it is virgo virgo season so the hermit card pops out a lot when that happens let's see no i think that is it yeah it looks like just somebody you know gaining some kind of enlightenment going within deciding that they don't want to invest in something um coming into an energy of just accepting it moving forward all right bottom of the deck with the clarifying deck is the reverse justice card so this is libra energy air energy um, Libra Gemini Aquarius so once again it could signify that something in the situation wasn't balanced or wasn't fair someone could have felt like something here was an injustice all right that could be the person who is just deciding to give up and go towards a new beginning uh, like I said it, it is definitely possible with the context of these cards that someone here um, could have felt manipulated or backstabbed or felt like something wasn't fair or something ended harshly or abruptly Right, and definitely um, someone here is just, they're focused on um, themselves, finances, home life, the things that can bring you a sense of uh, security and stability. But um, definitely someone here was, or is, you know, still stressed out in the situation. I feel like it's whoever, if it's not you, Cancer, that's stressed out than somebody here in the situation in regards to whatever you're doing they're feeling stressed out but with the queen of pentacles being here the ten of pentacles the bountiful harvest definitely whoever is on the up and up coming out of the um the painful feelings i feel like that person is getting abundance in a variety of different forms you know emotional physical spiritual financial Overall, somebody here um, is getting over hard times and they're becoming better in the aftermath, right? But it could have definitely left someone else here stressed out by how things have played out thus far. Okay, one moment, I'm just saying if I see anything else before I get some oracle cards to close the messages. Yep, so the Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse, she could have been the one who blocked someone. Deciding not to invest, finally making a decision no longer juggling, and then 
um, if you're, like I said, if you're dealing with another person who's like in their feelings in regards to you or another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's like whoever decided to give up and block forward movement in the situation or block a person directly, someone in response is, was stressed out or is stressed out in regards to, you know, being blocked and in their feelings. You know, like I said, if this isn't you, Cancer, being stressed out, I don't see you being stressed out. I really feel like you're taking on the Queen of Pentacles energy. But, you know, take it how it resonates. You know how. You know your life. But, yeah. I hope that resonates and it makes sense for you. I'm going to get some cards from the Work Your Light Oracle. Okay, I think you might have some dramatic healing. I think you might have a lot of Divine Light Powers, Guardian Angels, and Archangels as a collective can get some closing messages <clears throat> and guidance for the Cancer Collective, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Node. Moon rising Venus Jupiter North and South Node. <coughs> Alright, it says break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing and rewriting the future. Alright, so like I said, with all of the angel numbers, like all of the fives, fives talk about major change, alright? Um, it can, it's the kind of change that um, comes with conflict, alright? So, that's major shifts in your life. And with the eights, the nines, and the tens, that signifies that, like I said, you're nearing um, the completion of something major in your life. And with this Break the Chain card, this, it could have been like a generational thing. It could have been something from a past life. It could have been... Um, you healing ancestral patterns that the people before you didn't all right so it could have been karmic in some way or another whether it was your karma or whether it was the karma of um, you know someone in your family or a plethora of people in your family um, basically trauma is passed through generations until someone decides to heal it so you could have been healing or dealing with a situation that was karmic for you whether it's because it's your family karma or whether it's your past life karma you are either breaking the chain or you're being told to break the chain of whatever the situation was because typically this card comes out when it's a bad it's a, a negative cycle that needs to be broken okay okay so we get two more cards for cancer sun moon rising venus jupiter north and south nodes for september 2019 messages of guidance and advice Two more cards of divine insight and messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South nodes. Thank you. All right, so it says Sisterhood of the Rose. All right, so some of you can be spiritual teachers. You know, you can be mystics. Um, you could be in um, well in the wellness industry or the beauty industry, or you could just be being called to you know be more creative or devotional in your daily activities or your spiritual practice maybe you need to devote yourself to your creative path if you're a creative or an artistic person um if you're someone who works in the beauty wellness industry maybe you've been called to be more devoted to that that industry build your business um if you're really spiritual you could be uh, being called to be more um, consistent or ritualistic within your meditation practice spiritual practice all of that you could be um, someone who wants to be or is a spiritual teacher or like I said a mystic or a priestess of some sort or you could be um, needing to consult with someone who is as well last card out is Lemuria creating heaven on earth is happening so basically getting your energy in alignment all right so ascension is all about um, getting to new energetic levels within yourself you know so that you can heal old patterns and 
welcome in more abundance and happiness and creativity and fulfillment and overall just feeling um, in alignment with you know your life purpose and why you're here so Lemuria is definitely just about shifting your energy into something that is harmonious and beautiful and high vibrational so that you can get that fulfillment and happiness and abundance that you're wanting all right it looks like you're already on the path to this though because you have a lot of really good cards here so I feel like most of this change has already happened or you're right in the middle of it all right but there's so many really good cards here that point that things are on the up and up and that you've gained a lot of strength and resilience and character from whatever the situation was for you bottom of the deck we have the crumbling this is akin to the tower card in the tarot so basically there was something there could have been something very sudden or unexpected that happened here something that basically rerouted you or brought you some clarity about um, the truth of a situation or a person you know so something here in your life could have um, gone through some drastic changes and it has been to basically push you to release the old so that you can get the new this new energy and like i said this could have been karmic it could have been a family karma karma kind of thing or it could have been a personal karma from a previous lifetime whatever it is this tower happened was probably a catalyst for you to break the ancestral chains and clear out the old stuff that's not working for you anymore so that you can be in more alignment with your um your truth your purpose and your happiness and your overall fulfillment all right uh, one more. Okay, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. Today, our powers, guardian angels, Archangel of the Collective, can we get some closing guidance and messages for the Cancer Sign Collective? Cancer Sign, the Rising Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes for September 2019, and whenever they watch this video and it resonates. for the Cancer Sign Collective for guidance and intuitive advice. Cancer Sun and Rising Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes. Can I get one more card? There we go. Alright, bottom of the deck. Got it. So we got the Law of Attraction card, which is really good. This law is always in effect, okay? So make sure that you are, like I said, keeping your energy on the up and up. That way you can attract more of that good energy, okay? Also, this says your relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of yourself and the energies around you. Second card out was to shield yourself, protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. You know, you can call on different um, spiritual guides or ancestors or guardian angels, archangels, Archangel Michael, um, Archangel Metatron, any angel that you feel drawn to or any any energy that you feel pulled towards that can, you know, help you to shield yourself or cleanse yourself, protect yourself energetically. You're being called to do that right now. Like I said, you could have been dealing with, um, you could have been dealing with some negative or some toxic energy, all right? You got the reverse magician here. You could have been dealing with someone who was manipulative, someone who was dishonest. Like I said, someone here felt like they were stabbed in the back or felt like something ended painfully and like something wasn't balanced or fair in the situation. So. Um, it could definitely be that you need to go into protection mode and shield yourself, you know, so that you're not brought down by the lower vibrational energies anymore. Um, third cry out is to listen to your intuitive feelings. All right, so Cancer, you're a water sign. Water signs are naturally intuitive. All of them have a little bit of psychic energy. So you, um, when you are balanced and when you're tapped in, you already know what it is that you need to do and your intuition is always guiding you and talking to you through your your dreams through your daydreams even through the synchronicities the numbers the the feathers the the animals that you see you know so it's just a matter of tuning into yourself and listening to your intuition in regards to just life in general and in regards to this situation okay bottom of the deck we have the indigo card so you could be you know a soul who is incarnated with a higher spiritual energy you could be uh, someone like i said you had spiritual gifts you could be a spiritual teacher you could be wanting to do that um you could be someone who is sensitive to energy someone who's emotional someone who is intuitive or empathic you could be a star seed a crystal child an indigo child or you could have a child who is a star seed an indigo or crystal child as well 
um, but this is just someone who um, has an, a unique soul energy and a unique purpose in this particular lifetime and it's usually more of a more of a spiritual based vocation that this energy takes on okay so if you're someone who is spiritual or creative and artistic uh, you're being called to really focus on that allow that to bring you into a lot of alignment um, the law of attraction is always working for you so if you stay in your intuitive creative artistic energy and you stay grounded you will definitely um, more quickly attract the abundance and the positive energy that you are wanting but I feel like it's already on its way to you to be honest it's just a matter of keeping yourself focused and making sure that you don't forget who you are um, on a spiritual level all right so I hope that this message or these messages resonated for you whatever you have been through it really looks like the worst is over and if you're going through it right now it's almost over okay um, please believe that I wish that I could take the <laughs> the camera and show you because you have more good cards than bad and it looks like all the bad cards are indicating that something has already happened all right so try and keep your spirits up with much love and until next time unless I decide to do mid monthlies I will see you next month all right and let me see if there's anything else that I want to say nope all right Stay safe, stay high vibrating, you know, try to stay positive, but you are prepared and you have everything that you need to keep pushing forward, all right?